Okay. So that, that should, um... Hopefully, uh... Still working. Sweet. Uh, I'll I'll look at <laughs> audio and stuff in a sec. So. Okay. <laughs> I keep on muting my microphone. I thought I'm trying to get my lights off, dude. I have a, um, an echo thing, and uh, it, it doesn't uh, doesn't listen very well. So, um, anyways, uh, Red Dead Redemption, right? Actually, we'll figure it out. What? <laughs> Just for you, man. Right. Uh, you know, I'll be honest. I haven't truly decided which Red Dead. Okay, I don't have Red Dead Two installed. <laughs> so we. <we're, we're laughs> We're doing Red Dead 1. I, I've i never finished this game. However, um, I'm going to. <laughs> so this is uh, kind of what that's going to start, is me finishing. I'm, I'm really bad at committing to things. Uh, well, no, not really. I'm good at committing to things whenever I can, you know, whenever it's just cause. <laughs> But, uh, not, not most games. Um, yeah. Anyway, I just read that. Okay. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's a nice, uh, intro. Cyberpunk 1, Cyberpunk, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cyberpunk will be sometime. <laughs> All the Xbox 360 stuff, man. It's wacky. <laughs> okay, let me check the audio real quick. Okay, I have no idea what the audio's like. Uh so you'll just you'll just have to let me know. <laughs> if you if it's too loud or something, you, you have to tell me. Because uh I'm really not patient enough to sit there and 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 just listen, trying to find the, the most minute uh minute minute minuscule. Uh <laughs> sorry, I'm it's two thirty in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm too tired for this. I was going to stream at like midnight, but um, I was waiting for my hair to dry. So uh, that took like an hour. They're not signed in. Yeah, man. There I am. Oh, Red Dead. Uh, 
Uh, what a game. I uh, played this for a while. Then just stopped one day and uh I'm not really sure why. Can I <laughs> can I hit like new game or something? What why Alright, looks like we're just going straight in. Most of the time I played this game I just <laughs> I sat in the uh, Amarillo and just uh shot people. It was it was kind of like a, a a psychotic kind of thing. <laughs> I would shoot people in the stomach with the uh, the semi-auto pistol and then watch as they crawled, and then I'd shoot them in the back of the head. Uh, for example, oh, I forgot what this game felt like. <laughs> semi-auto pistol. I'm not here for that. people doing is it B? Well, our best be off. Now. <laughs> oh, that cat's jumped. Oh, it's just right trigger. Okay. <laughs> <Now, laughs> <laughs> hey, so I've got a problem. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how I missed that. Don't worry, I'll go. Don't worry, I'll go. Don't worry, I got it. Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, game. New game. Yeah. Alright, and that's, that's Red Dead. one am grateful mrs bush that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land i could not agree with you more my dear my daddy settled this land and i know he'll be looking down on us pleased with how we help the natives yes they've lost their land but they've gained access to heaven okay <laughs> i got that but father do you mean unless 
an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. I completely forgot about this cutscene. Honestly? <laughs> what you must <laughs> way too long is is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Has it always been Armadillo? I swore this was Armadillo. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> it had to be Armadillo at one point. It... it, it The the Mandela effect or whatever. Hold on. That's much nicer. Okay. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Okay, time to learn how to ride a horse again. <laughs> Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Our beat is slow. Once. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. You don't look much like no black border fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high flute and big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. He was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing ye ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. I tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now, Mr. Marston. Fort's just over this hill. <laughs> Easy. Woo there. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come for you, Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. 
implored. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jeff. Hey, why is my gun gold? Has it always been gold? Oh, sick, dude. We got one of the, uh, one of the bots in the chat now. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right. Here we are. With just a little bit of a gunshot in here. This one. Uh, time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. <laughs> I kill her. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Bonnie. I love this game's mechanics. The, There's the foreman's office. The engine. It's I mean. also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, boys. 
Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Well, hello there. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Horses were necessary we for such a control. short trip. No me, <laughs> uh, it's not a very big place. Well, are we going inside? Shut up, Bonnie. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <clears throat> for anything suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. We're killing rabbits with this thing, dude. Poor bunnies. I don't remember killing them before. Slow it up now. 
Let's go. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Gee up! Okay. Was that a coyote? Get those pests before they scare the livestock. Destroyed. There's all kinds of coyotes around here, man. They're not that bad. Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Hold on. <laughs> Boy, why? Hold on. <laughs> what? Trying to check the achievements. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Dogs in this guy. Here we are. Whoa. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. the uh, wardrobe. Don't I need a wardrobe for it? No, I just... Okay. Oh, dude, my, my kneecaps just exploded. That was... <laughs> not the best feeling. So, 1029-2019 is the one I definitely don't want to get rid of. So, we'll, we'll get rid of you. Yes. <laughs> oh, just in case. I do beg your pardon. Was that your fault or mine? Mine, I'm sure. Definitely was. I beg your pardon. Hello. All right. Next mission. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. 
No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Gotta be her dust. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Come on. Yeah. Uh, yo, horse. <laughs> <laughs> on the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! to her. The, 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 <clears throat> I was looking at the map to figure out where the next checkpoint was. Didn't realize until I was already into a building, pretty much, that uh, it changed to a, a finish, uh, a finish line sign. Uh, kind of threw me off. And now I'm in a
kill Bonnie. I'm gonna slaughter her. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Holster. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Still Would you mind riding with me? I don't even Arzillo? know if I lost. I've got to get some supplies and I'll try I can lost. with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Okay, I have to get on the other side. What this woman do? She's worthless. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? I Have you ever the given up a little altogether? I haven't him. really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Good, oh. honest, if you need them. Thanks, friend. Off I go. Be well. I'm 
I now have a better horse. <laughs> well, thanks for driving me. Forgot it's I have nice that. To be able to enjoy the view for once. Don't know why I do. Little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, Miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, Miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Whistle? Kinda had a whistle. Are you, are you my war horse? <laughs> I just found something I forgot about. Oh yeah. You can afford to lose some of them ugly fingers, can't you? One dollar to play. I don't have a single dollar. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> I am broke. Shoot you. <laughs> I want I want to kill people more. Why don't you and me spend a little time together? Look out! Kill everyone. <laughs> okay. Hmm. When is the last save? <laughs> Let's take a quick look. 307? What time is it? 310? Alright, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> Ow, 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 okay. Ow, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Pian. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think how violent this game is, dude. Not as accurate as it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the cop. Uh oh. Big shot. <laughs> what now?
for you, engine back <laughs> You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not very accurate. Accuracy doesn't matter. Nah, this is, <laughs> this is, uh, Xbox. I wish I had a PC. I don't know if you can put mods on it, but, uh, uh, might be something I'd want to do at some point. <laughs> this is this is kinda grim. Apparently, they're all dead. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> that makes me, uh, makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, I, that's just, I'm gonna let that guy live. I don't know how I missed that shot, <laughs> that's kind of sad. <laughs> Shots on me. That was good. That was a good um. Oh, don't don't save the game. Don't auto save. That's not good. That's. Uh oh. Hold on. Um. I don't. I don't have a twelve hundred dollar bounty here now, do I? That that wouldn't be very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <clears throat> it will find out. Dude. Yeah, man. I've been uh, I was gonna try out the uh, next gen update for it for the uh, new consoles, but um, it uh, <laughs> I couldn't move. 
something uh, something broke in the game, so I'll try to try it uh, soon to see if they fix it out. Yeah, I played it through uh, one time before the update. It's uh, probably in my top ten. I don't have a bounty here. That's, that's good. I'm glad I didn't save that. What's the rush there? Now, uh, now we go uh, kill people that aren't civilians. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You that one of Williamson boys? Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him! <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson <laughs> boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. You want to get out of here for a minute? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you? Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how 
Some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks that live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. Let's see. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. I think I know where the saloon is. Like, you know, killed everyone in there not too long ago, actually. So who are we looking for? Bunch of two dead hoodlums, <laughs> led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Mount up, Marston. Walton's our man. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. while we got the chance. Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walt's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Hold up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Okay. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. <laughs> There's one behind the crate. Take him down. Uh, 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 you know, my controller. Uh, my pump is a little bit messed up on it. Yeah. 
shoot him in the leg. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not a bad shot, Mr. Marson. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marson. Yeah! Come on! Now let's go destroy the corpses. much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. How do I, me, <laughs> How do I look at this? I ain't getting fresh. Stupid. Right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, behind a rock near a tree with the news. Right. I don't know where that is. <laughs> Really aren't that many trees out here. Okay, I'm gonna say this is <laughs> this is probably the place I need to be. Yes. So there's it's like in a little crevice. I'll be honest, it's not very hidden. <laughs>
guy. I got a better idea. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, that was a pretty good idea. Sorry about this, partner. force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Man, I was just by the hanging rock, man. That's uh it's not the best sign. Like a town trip, like twenty four bucks, so I can go uh, gamble and stuff now. Or uh, the the finger game, whatever. Man, I used to slap at this dude. I guess I'll see how good I am now. Sure, you and me. Here we go. You put down. I just won both. I'll you bet go. you. That's the best you got. Wow! I think I just beat a little. Well done, sir. It's great. Watch this. Hello to you. I 
thought we were trying to do this quickly. Uh, hello? Are you okay, okay. mister? I tried to do it really quickly. This is it. Oh, was I going again? Okay. Who's next? Huh? All right. I'm the best. <laughs> okay, this an old man. Yeah. Three bucks. This is going to be easier than I thought. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Easy. I wouldn't want to get in no knife fight with you, pard. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That's that's a good number. Any other gluttons for punishment? No, no, I'm not confident anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to quit. <laughs> hey, bro, 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 bro. I just. I guess I knocked him out. Watch your step, partner. What's up? You can buy a few chips if you like. Ooh, twenty-five dollars. No, <laughs> I'm not ready for that kind of money. Newspaper. It contains like a. What is it? It contains stuff, doesn't it? Pretty sure. It does. <laughs> it's like obviously stuff, but like good stuff. Chested. I was, gonna, I was gonna run and jump past the track, I uh, realized that that was not gonna be possible. Ooh, hold on a sec. <laughs> I'm getting really distracted with everything.
suit. And the best. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. It's true. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Can you in? Yes, 
quickly realize you can't <laughs> can't shoot through barrels in this game. So yeah, get it from the bottom of the Take it from here. Here's your payments. Yeah, like three coins, dude. How does that equate to forty bucks? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. If we go backwards. <laughs> Sorry, wait, oh no, that, that's my enemy, yeah. Okay. 
That was all? Okay, <laughs> nice. Make sure they're wood. Those guys are not causing trouble. Officer, I do apologize. I am in six p. What time is it? About six forty p.m. Apparently, uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. Hello. And. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know where I'm going. I don't trust all of my Somerset with his plan. I like some change, but not too much change. Sleep again. I believe the new following catalog will be up soon. I love the big green turtle. Now I should be able to do the quest for Bonnie. about your plan. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Oh. Years before that, I rode in the gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was, sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area 
and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. John's kind of, uh, it's kind of just depressing to talk to. Right. Are you ready to learn how to hurt some cows? Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Easy now. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can hurt cows as well as you can charm humanity. That's it. Stay behind them. Get on Let's go. Come on, easy up now. I hear you, Bonnie. Bonnie's the worst. Stupid Bonnie. That's what's up there. It's easy. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Let's get it. Five bucks. Come on. Come on. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know I could actually push my horse. <laughs> I feel bad now. I kind of wish I didn't punch it. I'd push it. So, Dear sir, hello. I'm sure you'll find something you like here. I hear 
sickly looking gray horse. Wow. Thanks for the depressing news, sir. Okay, the quest from Bonnie, and uh, hopefully get the lasso. I don't know when I get the lasso, but it would be nice to not have to kill people. Okay, never mind. I'm <laughs> that well, hello, looks like Mr. a lasso. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I very more my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Well, it's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> I I just don't remember any of this, man. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret that sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Keep a hold of him now. 
Come on. Come on. Nearly got you. Come on in, cowboy. Relax now. Show me what you got, boy. That's it. Don't give up. Come on. Let's go. Relax now. Nearly there. Let's see it, boy. so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy a joker, Miss McFarlane. saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Again? Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. All right. To Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead.
I'll see you there, miss. This isn't what I want. Pretty much a match like this. No stop! Let's go! Stay together, you dumb animals! Move it! Move! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Move! Come on! Yeah! Go that way. That's not good. <laughs> Please go the other way. No, not. <laughs> okay. This isn't being very good for the camera. It's all right. I got you now. Whoa there. Almost got you. Yeah. There you go. I'm just the best. Marston, we got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. See if there's a new bounty. Doing all the hard work, dude. I'll be having that. Yeah. I'm sorry, pal.
731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. Oh. You ride with us again, Marson? No need to so me? like that, man. I will try. It'd be my pleasure. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. be honest with you, Marston, I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land, bringing modernization and betterment to the West. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Boys, yeah. let's proceed on foot from here. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. Okay, okay. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Those oh. bastards were waiting for it. <laughs> Don't slow me down. Damn you. <laughs> I need the marshal. 
sometimes. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Did I? It's, it's, it's perfect. I can't believe how inaccurate it was. <laughs> I know. It's... Uh, it's fun. Actually, wait, no, we don't. There's a chest. Let's go, Marston. Shut Not up, food. Marshall. Let's go. Be careful. I think I spotted some snipers. Eyes up, sniper. Where? Hell oh. I need a better gun, dude. This, <laughs> yeah, this thing's alright, but not not at long range. Marshall, oh no. Marshall? Okay, now he's over here. <laughs> alright. Get away from me, Marston. Excuse me, mister. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. Moonshine. Friend. Looks like the bollards won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you 
so much. Thanks. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives <laughs> out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. All this goes by. Uh, I'm going to uh, <laughs> end the stream and uh, go to sleep because it's 4:30 in the morning and I've lost the very little amount of energy I had left when I started this. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll probably uh I'll probably stream this again, um at some point. Uh, don't know when that some point would be. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll try Cyberpunk again. I don't know. We'll we'll find out. And uh, yeah. <laughs>